could you imagine if everybody in the world like lived in joy? That's why I created the Joy Quest. Because once you get that little taste, that little taste of what joy feels like, <laughs> you will want you will, you'll want to feast every single day. So I don't know, Alicia, you may not know, um, but I have this thing that I created called the Joy Quest, and it's a way to intentionally and purposefully tap into your joy each and every single day. Um, and it's something that takes 45 minutes to an hour to complete, but by the time you finish with it, um, it gives you some form of clarity as to how you can access your joy and then um, put it into practice and make it a habit so that you're doing it every single day. Because once you get that little taste, that little taste of what joy feels like, <laughs> you will want, you will, you'll want to feast every single day. And the beautiful part about finding joy and living in your joy is that it's something that um, it at some point isn't, it doesn't, it isn't, it isn't just for you. It becomes right. something that like radiates and permeates other people's lives that so that they also will be able to, can access their joy, you know? Um, and I think that once everybody gets to that point where they're joyfully living, like the world will be so much better. <laughs> Everything, you know, create such a monumental shift. People will be more willing to work with each other in, in different manners. And also realizing that there's no one way to do anything, you know? Cause I think that so many people are trying to like, live according to what they think they should be doing versus what they actually want to be doing right. um, so once you're living in joy you don't have to do that anymore because you're free like